What is good YouTube, Wash you here with a video on The Flash Season 3, Dead or Alive, Episode 11. This will be the episode where we see Gypsy for the first time, but most likely not the last time. So the episode starts with Gypsy saying she's coming for fake wells as he's broken the law in her country, which is, sorry, her world, which is Earth 19. Um, basically, he's travelled from one Earth to another, and he's not allowed to do this. I'm in two minds about this Gypsy character, as they really have changed her character an awful lot from the comic books, and made her so powerful that she can even stop speedsters. But she did drop a pun in when she said, oh, a speedster. So that implies that it's kind of like a cheeky wink at the Invisible Man from Earth-19. So I we will be going to see her earth at some point within this show which i'm really looking forward to as i feel like this episode was quite weak it was more of a character development kind of episode it was a filler i suppose you could say so they're developing wally's powers and also the flash's powers where they kind of did this trick where they both binded and shifted and moved around i don't know what to call it exactly but the people trying to shoot at them both couldn't actually take an accurate shot at them, which is kind of interesting. And it's cool how Barry is letting Kid Flash take all the credit. But what's interesting is Kid Flash doesn't vibe, doesn't vibrate his his face. So it's almost like anybody could work out who he is. So we see Julian in the role with Team Flash, and to me, he feels like. Harrison Wells. He's the science guy. He's basically saying to Barry that he will never be fast enough to save Iris West, which is a good analogy, and he backs it up with science, and Barry basically saying he's being he's being a bit harsh, and that's not true. But in the end, it comes true, and they all find out, and Barry says that Wally West is key to saving Iris, which is really interesting. So I think in the next couple of episodes, we're going to see Barry's connection with Wally get stronger. We see right at the end of the episode, there's a bit where Barry's like, you need to be faster, you need to be faster. Actually, Barry says that Wally is important to defeating Savitar. And it's interesting, as my partner also said that Wally was key a few weeks ago, and I didn't really say a lot. So ever since Iris has found out she's going to die, she's tried to become heroic, uh, stupid, in my opinion, as she nearly gets killed. But Kid Flash saves the day. They have like a kind of team hero kind of club like they did back on in Flashpoint. So during the Gypsy fight... They vibe to Earth 2, which we briefly seen earlier this season. It's so cool. I would have liked to seen a bit more of Earth 2, as it was kind of like a brief kind of moment there, which to me didn't make much sense. I understand, obviously, money costs a lot to do these different sets, but it would have been nice to get a bit more of Earth 2. Then we've got Earth 38. As you see, they are fighting in Cat Grant's office. You see one of Cat Grant's workers, which is kind of cool. And then they vibe to what can only be explained as hell. To me, it looks like hell. So it's pretty cool that they show you different Earths. So I really would love to see some many different Earths. So Gypsy says to vibe that he doesn't realize how powerful he can be almost like he's scared so as soon as vibe lets goes he dominates gypsy easily and this fight to the death wasn't even a fight to death i almost feel like it was a clickbait title dead or alive this kind of battle to death didn't really happen as soon as vibe kicked her ass that was it she surrendered which was kind of a bit weak but i can see why i really like this gypsy character and then we get to see Cisco in the full vibe suit, which to my knowledge is comic book accurate. Let me know, comic book guys. Is it accurate to the comic book? From all the pictures I've seen, uh, referring it to the comic book, it looks legit. It looks comic book accurate to me. So it's interesting that Vibe is a lot more powerful than he thinks and he can do a lot more. So I'm hoping that we see more of Gypsy in a later season. So she's had to make out that she killed Fake Wells so he can never return to Earth-19. 
which is interesting. And you can tell there's going to be some love relationship here later on in the season, or maybe even season four, as she teases him with a kiss and then she kind of opens the breach. But I just don't like the fact that they've changed the character completely. They should have just went with a completely different name. So in the conclusion, this was an overall average episode. It was a fun filler. Um, it ended with Wally West finding out that he is key to stopping at Stavatar, changing all the current events so the future doesn't happen and Iris West doesn't die. Overall, I thought it was a good episode, a good strong filler. We have next week's episode, which is called Untouchable, and then sadly, Fash is going on a break before we get the Grid Grod kind of two part special, which is cool. But we've only just come back from a break, so I don't understand why we're getting another break. But that's the writers for us, we can't change that. So, guys, comments down below like normal. Please hit that thumbs up as it helps the channel grow getting lots of cool support let me know if i missed anything if there was any kind of any references i didn't get yes i know the kind of kid flash bit with the cheerleaders did look like the kind of part from smallville but i didn't feel like mention it seeing as i think putting like i don't know with easter eggs to me just sound like clickbait title but i don't like to put eat with easter eggs as they're just references to me anyway guys this is war stew this has been my review on dead or alive catch you in another video peace